Hello everyone, how are you? In this lesson, we will use the commands and principles we saw in the last lesson to create a simple animation of our plane flying. We are going to create this animation, with the plane going up and down and spinning slightly to one side and to the other. In addition, we will animate the propeller so that it's constantly rotating like this. And as we already parented the propeller to the plane in the parent lesson, when we animate the plane, the propeller will move with it automatically. Then we can start the animation planning by setting its total duration. We will make this video with 10 seconds. And as we have seen, at first Blender uses a rate of 24 frames for every second of animation. So, for us to have a 10 second video, we need our animation to have a total of 240 frames. If we look at this right part of the timeline header, we will see that there are two fields where we can determine in which frame the animation starts and in which frame the animation ends. So, for the animation to have 10 seconds, just type 240 in this end field here. Now we can start creating the animation of the objects. Let's start by creating the propeller animation. So that the propeller rotates throughout the animation, it will have a keyframe on frame 1, marking the beginning of the animation, and a keyframe on frame 240, marking the end of the animation. So I will take advantage that the playhead is already here in frame 1, and I will select the propeller here in the 3D view, and I will hit the I shortcut key to open the keyframe creation menu, and I will insert a rotation type keyframe. If we look here in the timeline, we will see that a keyframe has already been created in frame 1. Now I will click and drag the playhead to frame 240 and I will rotate the propeller enough so that its animation looks pretty fast in the final video. In this kind of situation, it's usually necessary that you test different values until you reach a satisfactory result. I've done some previous tests and found that about 50 turns of the propeller during this time interval creates a quick and interesting effect for this animation. That's 5 turns per second which already makes the propeller animation very fast. But how can we rotate 50 turns accurately? We already saw that we can rotate the objects using the Rotate tool here from the toolbar. But there is a way that we can use to transform the objects directly by numerical values. If we click this little arrow here in the upper right corner of the 3D view, or use the N shortcut key, we open and close this panel bar called Sidebar. And here, in the Item tab, we find the transformation values for Location, Rotation and Scale. And we can see that we can click and drag to transform each axis separately here by numerical values. And as we can see, the propeller rotation axis in this case is the Y axis. These rotation values here in the sidebar are in degrees. As we want to set 50 turns in this keyframe, we need to multiply 50 which is the number of turns, by 360, which is the number of degrees per turn. And that's 18,000 degrees. So, if we type 18,000 here, put the cursor over the 3D view, press the I key, and click on Rotation we will create the final rotation keyframe for the propeller. 
and if we click the play button, we will see that the animation is already working. However, if we look, we will see that the rotation accelerates at the beginning of the animation and slightly slows at the end of the animation. This is because, at first, Blender transform animation keyframes are all created with acceleration and deceleration to make animations smoother. But in some cases like this, we will want the animation to be at constant speed, that means without acceleration and deceleration. And for us to change this property of the keyframes, we just have to select both of them here in the timeline, right click over the timeline, and here in the Interpolation Mode submenu, we click on the Linear option. This option will remove the acceleration and deceleration of the keyframes and make the animation speed constant between them. What we can already observe if we click the play button again. Alright, now that we have the propeller animated, Let's start animating the plane. During the animation, I want the plane to go down and up twice over 10 seconds. And I want it to slightly tilt to one side when it's going down and slightly tilt to the other side when it's going up. We can start by creating the up and down keyframes and then we create the rotation keyframes. But as we will animate the plane in both position transformation and rotation transformation, we will always use the lock hot type keyframe, which stores simultaneously the position and rotation values. So I will start by putting the plane up a little bit with the move tool. Then, I will make sure that the playhead is in the frame 0 of the timeline and I will generate a lock hot keyframe for it by clicking the I key and by clicking lock hot. Now, I will position the playhead on frame 60 to set the keyframe where the plane is down. I have already tested all these time intervals and saw that they result in a nice timing. But when you are doing an animation for the first time, it's important to test different time intervals until the animation looks the way you want. Now, with the playhead on frame 60, I'm going to move the plane down a bit and I will generate another keyframe of the lock hot type. And if we hit play now, we will see that it's already going down. Now, if we want the plane to go up one more time to complete the cycle, we can duplicate the initial keyframe where the plane is up. To do this, we can select the first keyframe and, with the cursor over the timeline, Use the Ctrl C shortcut to copy and we can paste it with the Ctrl V shortcut. But before pasting, let's position the playhead on the frame we want it to be pasted into. As we gave a 60 frame interval from the first to the second keyframe, I will position the playhead at frame 120 to keep the 60 frame interval. And now, I will press Ctrl V to paste the keyframe that I copied. If we click play now, we will see that the plane is already going down and up. Now, let's create the rotation keyframes between the position keyframes. 
The first rotation keyframe will be in the middle of the descent, that is, here in frame 30. Then I will position the playhead at frame 30. I will activate the rotation tool and rotate the plane slightly on the Y axis. And I will generate a lock hot keyframe by hitting the I key. Now I will create the rotation keyframe for the moment the plane is going up. Then I will position the playhead here at frame 90. I will rotate the plane a little to the other side. And I will generate another keyframe of the lock hot type. If we click play now, we will see that the first cycle is already working. And then, if we want to repeat this cycle for the other half of the animation, we can select all the keyframes, hit the Ctrl C shortcut to copy the keyframes, and with the playhead on top of the frame 120, Use the Ctrl V shortcut to paste the copied keyframes. With this, everything we animated in the first half will be duplicated to the second half. And we can see it if we hit the play button again. And with that, we finish the animation of our plane. In the next lesson, we will see how to adjust the light and the camera so that we can generate the final video. So, thank you for watching and I see you on the next lesson.